Hi, this is Lee. I figured today I would do a video to talk about who I am and whatever it is that I do and why I do videos like this where I speak, all of that. Not as a planned thing. I planned this about one split second before I filmed it. But with the idea that I've thought about how my life is, I thought about how other people with their lives think about what they go through and I don't know whether or not how I think about life is like what other people think but I'm not going to say that I'm the only one who thinks the way that I do but okay for starters the YouTube videos I make the YouTube videos because I feel I have an opinion that I want to put out there. And I sometimes feel, not always, but I sometimes feel that there's an audience out there who would like and appreciate what I'm saying, but I never know if they're the kind of people who go to watch YouTube videos or if instead they're maybe in the boondocks somewhere working in a car station and don't have internet but live good lives. And if I were to by chance meet them, I would find that I would be in compatible agreement with those people. But the thing is, there's also possibly people who appreciate what I say because it's different than what they've heard and it makes them feel like they want to know more about me. Or maybe they do agree with me on a lot of things, or maybe they don't agree, but they find what I say interesting. Either way, who knows? But in life, the thing is there are people who are compatible with other people and then there are people who are not compatible with other people. And a lot of times, let's say someone lives in a neighborhood and there are some people there in the neighborhood who get along and say, hi, how's it going? And then there might be a few people who don't get along with the others. But the reason why they live there is because of geographic convenience. Someone might have the same income as someone else, but they don't have the same views. So they both live in a similar neighborhood, but if they were to talk to each other, they would disagree a lot and possibly get into fights. But okay, I do these videos because I figure I grew up with the idea of entertainment. Back when I grew up, there wasn't internet. Internet started later, after I became older. But not so old, where I don't know about the internet. I was at least still somewhat, maybe kind of young, or relatively speaking, when the internet got into its major phase. 
I was approximately maybe, let's say, in my 30s when the internet became something that was starting to be a big deal. And then when I was 40, that's when it started to really hit big. And now it's even more so. And I'm a lot older than 40 now. Not tremendously older than 40, but I'm, I'm older than 40 by some years. But... The thing is, a lot of the stuff that's going on now, like AI and being able to generate pictures that you want and all that, I think to myself, wow, if I had that stuff when I was younger, who knows what I could have done. But the thing is, I realize that it's here now. So I'm taking advantage of this stuff now. But I still grew up with the music that I grew up with. If you ever listen to my music, you'll find different things. You might find some rock, you might find some classical, you might find some jazz, you might find some music that doesn't sound like anything you've ever heard before. All of that is because I'm trying to provide entertainment. And I'm assuming, maybe wrongfully so, but I'm assuming that the people who watch my videos of me talking are not the same people who will listen to my, for instance, my classical posts my music but you never know but I find that there's a lot of stuff there for people whoever they are whatever it is that they want to see and I find that my videos where I talk like this are done when I'm in the mood to do it and I do enjoy doing them and they are entertainment but my other videos are to me important too I like to think of myself as a musician and a writer and the videos where I do my creative art are the ones that I am mostly thinking of hoping people watch but talking can be artistic too especially if it's not planned and it's like what I'm doing now where I'm focused and thinking of what I'm going to say but I didn't write it down because after all I only thought of this a split second before I filmed it but the other thing is I'm thinking, since I am getting older, the point isn't my age. The point is that as someone gets older, they might think more about the kind of time that they have and how to use it. And the things that might seem important when someone is younger might not seem as important when they're older, not because of the things themselves and not because of the mindset changing, but because the time factor, the idea of someone maybe in their young 20s has many years ahead of them and someone in their 60s, and I'm not quite 60, but I'm getting a lot closer than I was in the past, but someone in their 60s is going to think, well, they might still have some time, but not maybe 
the same amount of time as the person in their 20s, you never know. Because there are some people in their 20s who don't live too long, and some people in their 60s who continue to live quite a long time. So that's not totally a truth what I said, but it's a general idea of the mindset of someone who is in that age bracket or in whatever age bracket they happen to be. So for me, I've done podcasts and I've done other things and I did them because I like to provide entertainment. I like to state my opinions and I like to say stuff. But I have also been known to be kind of maybe a grump in some ways when it comes to if someone doesn't agree with me. But some of that is because I'm thinking I want to change the way that culture is where someone only thinks that the stuff that's good is stuff that's presented by the media. Because there's, for instance, many groups who are good, but people don't know of them because those groups aren't, they're, they're not presented in a major way. Their videos are not viral. So some people will not pay attention to a video unless it's viral. Other people will watch whatever they want to watch and don't care about how many views it gets. I'm one of those people. And I appreciate other people who are like that too. But I can't really say anything bad about the people who only like to watch viral videos because if that's how they feel about things, that's how they feel about things. But I have to say that I don't always feel happy if someone misinterprets what I do because they think that I'm doing one particular thing when I really meant to do something else. But then if I have to explain it to them, then that ruins the point of being able to figure it out, figuring it out on their own. So either way, it can stink because even after I explain it to them, they still say something which makes me think that they could possibly be doing it to annoy me or whatever the case may be, but okay. The reason I do videos where I talk and stuff, well, I already told you a lot of it, but it's because I'm hoping possibly that someone will understand how important it is to talk and to say how you feel about things and not only to someone you know, but to a general audience, because sometimes the general audience is going to be even more interesting than the person you know, because for instance, I might know certain people who have a certain opinion about something, but I'm always hoping to find someone else who has a different opinion. And that person might be online because they might live in a place that's totally far away from me, but if they hear my video and watch my video, they might think, wow, this, this guy's cool. So that's the thing. But then again, if it's a matter of 
someone only watching certain videos of mine, then they might have a very um, specific view about me when there might be more to it than that. And I sometimes feel lazy and don't want to explain everything. I'm like, couldn't someone understand what I mean by the words? Well, that doesn't always happen because everyone has their own interpretation. And if someone interprets something a certain way, then no matter what someone says, to try to explain it to them, they're still going to listen with that same interpretation. Like, for instance, someone trying to explain to someone that they're a college graduate and the other person thinks that they're nuts and they're making it up. So the person with the college graduation shows them a diploma and says, okay, well, this is the diploma that I got. Now do you understand that I graduate from college? And the other person says, where did you get that photoshopped? You know, it's it's like the one person thought that they were going to be able to explain something to the other one, and then the other one decided to keep up with whatever it was that they thought of the other guy, because no matter what was said, it's not going to change someone's point of view. So sometimes, yes, I do get annoyed in my videos, and I might say some things that are biting and kind of intense, but that's because even if I cannot change the mind of someone, at least I can let them know how I feel about them. So I still think communication is good and honest. But I also think that a lot of it is entertainment. And I don't want to appear like someone who isn't at least interesting enough, even if someone doesn't agree with my views, at least I'm interesting enough to hear. So overall, I would have to say I do this because I'm alive and I exist and I want to be able to do something that's creative, even if my creativity, like in this video, is me talking, I want to be able to do it. And I think about stuff a lot. I think about philosophy and things, and I think about how do I feel about this? What's going on in my day? How do I feel about what I went through? So I do that. And then when I talk with other people, I sometimes wonder how do they think about what I'm doing? How do they feel about me? Not because I'm paranoid, but because I'm curious. Because other people do matter. I mean, one's self ought to be the most important to someone only because someone has to live with themselves. So if they live with themselves, they ought to at least be aware of who they are and know how they feel about things. But other people are important too, because other people live here and we all live together. And at least if someone can give information or influence to someone else, that's a part of life. That's why we are here together, is to be connected and to influence each other. So overall, I would have to say my main point in doing this video is to say I feel it's good to talk about how someone feels. I feel it's good to talk about how I feel. And I feel that if someone wants to tell me or anybody else how they feel, that's fine. I'm not saying to be hurtful or to goof on someone. 
but to be sincere with good intention, I think that's a good thing. And I feel I'm always curious what people think about my music. The stuff that I talk about in these videos, I'm also wondering how people think, but for the most part, I'd love to hear from a, from an established composer who appreciated my work and to tell me what they thought of it. I've, I've had some of that when I tweeted people on Twitter and they told me how they thought of my work and I was appreciative of it because they were established composers who did stuff and it's out there. So for me, I would say, even though I thought about the idea of what if I was a celebrity and I was able to say whatever it was that I wanted to say and to have people like me for it. Well, not all celebrities have people liking them. Some celebrities have people disliking them because being a celebrity, I found out, doesn't necessarily mean that you get everybody on your side. There are some people who feel like they can troll a certain celebrity in order to get a name for themselves. So it's not a matter of being on the celebrity side and boosting them up. It's more a matter of someone trying to ride on their coattails by trolling them and making them feel bad so then the troll can possibly get some celebrity status of their own. So there you go. No matter what the situation is, I might think a certain way about it and it might not be that way for other people. So I feel kind of like the guy who wanted to go to Sala Salu and there was a sleech that kept slapping the key away. It's like I'm trying to get to the point where people finally understand me and know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm dealing with Sala Salu, where the guy decided that he wasn't going to flick the sneech away from the keyhole because if he did that it was supposed to be bad luck so he decided not to go into Sala Salu because it was going to be worse than he had wanted it to be. Now I'm not saying that things are going to get worse if I ask people's opinion but what I'm going to say is the guy in Sala Salu in that story decided to leave. But I'm not saying I'm leaving anything. What I'm saying is I'm understanding that whatever it is that I get, I get. And of course I'm going to have opinions and I might be not happy always. But if people watch my videos, that's a good thing. I'm really doing this because I feel like I'm alive and I want to say something about whatever it is that it is for people to listen to. So if you've heard this so far, I'd say treat it like a philosophical thing where you can think about whatever it is that you feel like in life. And how do you respond to things? You don't have to necessarily be someone who does a YouTube video. You could be someone who just lives at home with other people and you have things that you tell them and you have feelings about how they respond. And so you think about it. That's really all it is. I believe in philosophy. I don't necessarily believe in psychology. That can be another totally different video but I would spend maybe 99% of my time talking about philosophy and 1% about psychology because they're different. Because psychology is more of a clinical, pretentious way of pretending to be philosophy when it really isn't. 
that's my view. And someone can comment and tell me that I'm wrong. And I'll listen. And I won't agree. But I'll at least respond. If the person isn't being a jerk about it. But merely telling me their opinion. But for the most part. I believe in philosophy because philosophy states even someone who says something in their most emphatic way, it's still a matter of interpretation. You can either think of it this way or that way. There's no hard set rules on philosophy. Philosophy is merely a matter of state your opinion and people think of it as they will. And that's how I feel about life. <clears throat> I feel like life is here for people to do whatever it is that they want to do. And then if there are others who they know who help them feel good, then great. If not, that's not great, but it's understandable because this life has a lot of people and not everyone is going to be good. Some are and some aren't. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, morally good or morally not good. I'm just saying good for the person. Like if, if someone doesn't need a certain particular kind of food because the food isn't going to nourish them, then that food isn't good for them. But it might be good for someone else, if, if, if you know what I mean. Compatible or a good fit. So, yeah, I'm now at the point where I like to do my music. I like to do occasionally videos like this where I talk. I like to do that stuff. And I also like and equally like when people comment and listen. And I especially like if they understand and agree with what I'm saying. Not necessarily because I'm an egotist, but because everyone likes to be connected somehow. And I would like to know that I'm not a complete loner in how I feel, but that there are people who understand and are in the same kind of thought situation. So, yeah. That's basically it. I do these videos for compatible connectivity, or at least connectivity. And I do them for art, so that when people watch them, they, they have something that's entertaining. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise, my life is mostly doing, well, <laughs> whatever I'm doing. It's not a, like, the most great or the least great thing. I do music. I've cooked. I don't cook as much now because I don't have a stove, but... Still, I have a rice cooker and I do some cooking, but I still write music and I do some writings and I have concepts for some videos and stories. And so that's who I am. So this is about me talking about being artistic. So... If I were to only say it in one word, I no, not one word, but one sentence, I would say, I do this for art's sake. So, there you have it. A half-hour video of me telling you how I feel. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. 
see you later and bye.